Well, good morning, and here is the news. The police crime commissioner of Cambridgeshire, Sir Graham Bright, has run away crying from me. <laughs> yes, he is not contesting re-election next year for the position of police crime commissioner. Uh, what did he say now? Um, oh yes, he feels he can't commit to another four years. Funnily enough, this decision was made on the very day that a document detailing an illegal secret company called Huntingdon District Council was trading from uh, the town hall in St Ives, not Huntingdon, um, and run by one David Monk, who retired as the uh, CEO of Huntingdon Shire District Council about five years ago. <laughs> Uh, just a bit of a recap there for those of you who missed the previous videos. Um, so yes, that's landed on his desk uh, because it was posted off at the weekend there and um, he's crapped himself basically because he's spent his entire four years in office, well not even that yet, three and a half, um, covering up for 30 years of fraud committed by Hunting Ninja District Council. And now we know where the money's gone. <laughs> Um, so I dare say the company himself uh, itself may may not have been a surprise to him, but um, the fact that I knew about it almost certainly was quite a big surprise to him. <laughs> so there we have another bought and paid for Tory boy, stooge, um, bent, uh, lying, approves of theft, so he might as well be a thief tosser, basically. Um, who, by the way, gets paid uh, 70, I think it was 70 grand a year, to be mates with the chief constable, even though he's supposed to um, discipline the chief constable. <laughs> um, and as a point of interest, actually, um, I was I was under a misapprehension. Um, they have these people in America, uh, not police crime commissioners as such, um, but what it is there, it's the sort of local sheriff. So it's a throwback to um, their Western, well, West days, you know. Um, and I was, for some reason, I was sort of thinking that the police crime commissioner would be that, but it's not, because the equivalent would be electing chief constables, um, which I think should happen in this country, because uh, the police, full stop, are not at all accountable to the public just now, apparently, for some reason. Um, not to mention that they all seem to be private businesses these days. Um but I, I now think that we should get rid of the PCCs because they were just a waste of space, to be honest. Um, they still are a waste of space, really. Um, <laughs> we should get rid of them. We should have chief, not sheriffs. I'm not saying we'll start walking around as Stetsons with, with waistcoats on and little badges. Um, but I think chief constables should be electical, electable because, let's face it, the current bunch we've got are a bunch of useless tossers. Um, for those of you who recall Simon Parr, the ex-Chief uh, Constable of Cambridge, who, it's well over a year ago, he, he he signed a deal to say that he'd do a two-year extension when his five years service ended. And he also ran away crying days before this two-year extension uh, started. So I think he should be jailed for just for wasting public funds, really, because they then had to search for a new Chief Constable. And indeed, Cambridge Police Force itself was without a chief constable for, uh, I think it was two months. Although I've no doubt Graham Bright stepped up ably and took over the role. Completely unqualified and bought and paid for as he is. But I, I think in general, and I'm not just talking about my case, I know there's a lot of people who will relate to this. I think the police force in general now just needs to be completely overhauled. I think we need to get electable chief constables in um, and I think we need to scrap this thing they seem to have got themselves into now whereby if a copper commits a crime then he either just gets demoted or he resigns and that apparently means he hasn't committed a crime. I mean it's just complete fucking bullshit. The fuck did this shit come from? If he's committed a crime he's committed a crime. I don't care if he's you know a multi-millionaire, I don't care if he's a copper, I don't care if he's a dustman. Um, at the end of the day, the police are being shown preferential treatment towards law-breaking. And therefore, funnily enough, there's an awful lot of them fucking doing it. <coughs> because it, it, it's, it's self-explanatory logic, isn't it? As soon as you allow 
someone to commit crimes like that and then say, oh, well, well you'll just get demoted or, or oh, we'll just change departments, you'll move department or something like that. Well, they've got away with it, haven't they? They haven't gone to jail, have they? You know, some of them, some of them lose their job. But as I pointed out a long time ago in one of my videos, I can't even remember what it's called now. Um, it may have been if you want to break the law, become a copper or something like that. Um, over the four year period, 2009-2013, uh, I, I achieved uh, attained the figures from an FOI request of how many coppers had actually been um, sort of punished in any way. Um, I don't think that was even sent to jail. Um, and it, it came out as 1%. So 99% of them had, had actually got away with it. 99% <laughs> of coppers that have been investigated for any reason, and that's from, you know, murder down to dropping a bit of chewing gum wrapper on the floor, which you know full well the local councils would have asked for. Um, all those, the whole range of offences, 1%. That means 99% of them get away with it. And that is completely, completely unacceptable. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, arrest Chief Constable Simon Parr for obviously. Uh, wasting taxpayers' cash uh, purely because he changed his mind. Because he was tired. I don't know if you caught that video that I did. That's the official reason that was given why days before his two-year extension started, which he'd agreed to, he decided he was a bit tired and he couldn't really carry on. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's... <sighs> Police Crown Commissioner's gone now. I know what you're saying. You're saying, no, he's just not standing for re-election. Well, this the, this is the problem, though, you see. This, they're making it look all very civilised uh, for the general public. We had the council lawyer who filed the papers and then resigned. But obviously the papers aren't going to run a story saying she resigned because she'd done an illegal thing. Um, the chief constable's gone now. The police crime commissioner's gone now. Really, as far as I'm concerned, he's gone. He's, he's a non-entity, really. Um, well, he always was a bit of a non-entity, but... Um, and how he, how he actually ran his own business, I've no idea. He, he, oh, yeah, you can Google it, guys. He runs his own business, full-time, as well as being police crime commissioner. <laughs> it's just, I mean, anyone out there who runs their own business knows it takes up bloody 25 days... 25 hours a day out of 8 days a week, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> How he'd found time to get paid 70 grand a year to be police crime commissioner? No idea. Um, so yeah, I, I think we need to completely uh, remodel the police force because all these... I'm getting rid of all these people to do with this case because now obviously we've found this, this secret company that the council have. <laughs> It's quite incredible, really, isn't it? Um, and I will be, you know, concentrating more. Um, I can wait for the new PCC to come in. Um, the the new Chief Constable is currently um, receiving correspondence from me already. Uh, and I'm going to focus more and more, as these people go, on the Council, obviously, because so far they've got away with an awful lot. Um, so I'm coming after you, Joanne Lancaster, you fucking thieving bitch. And all those people who wanted to send me to jail for not paying council tax. And all those people who collaborated with the police to send me to jail for Ian Sims' imaginary complaint against me of harassment. Harassment? <laughs> Who's fucking being harassed here? I mean, the police were making up an illegal prosecution against me. Fucking hell. So it's coming down, guys, really. And, and this is, um, I can only say... I don't care how many government people, how many council people, how many police officers are watching this. It's only good news the more of these bastards we get rid of. And talking about elected chief constables and sheriffs, I only wish I was back in the days of the Wild West, because then I'd do a right Billy the Kid on a lot of them. <laughs> and just fucking shoot them. <laughs> It'd save a lot of fucking time, I can tell you that. Um... And it probably cost me less for a gun and bullets than it would for printer ink, the amount I've gone through so far. And stamps. And envelopes. Fuck, you know. Right, so I'm... <sighs> I'll need a beer, I think. Cam and Cam. 
cam. Right, sorry. So I hope you kept up with that. I hope you're still there. Uh, <laughs> I hope you kept up with that. Uh, you can message me on the channel. So any questions, please do ask if you're not sure uh, how all this came about. The original video, Very Corrupt Chief Constable, is doing very well. Um, <clears throat> the channel in itself is attracting a lot of attention. And there's also ask about um, if you want to hook up with me on Facebook or Twitter. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.